it's a great thing to discuss or to celebrate women. You know, behind every successful man, there is what? There's a woman. It's a sign of the power of women. Women have power. It has to embrace the need for equality. At NMG, we are very keen on that. We actually embrace equality to a very uh, great extent. Data that uh, worried me was uh, the earnings. Well, for every 100 shillings that is paid to a man, a lady is paid 68 shillings. It's not a, it's not a good balance, but we don't have that in nation. There's something that I, I learned a long time ago, to speak out. Women, when we sit on that table, let us speak. So the question was, how does a lady thrive in a male-dominated world? How do we get, you know, uh, to break that glass ceiling that we are always be being talked about? I think the very first thing for each one of us is to be prepared. Women, we are hardworking. We work double, three times more than the men. Why? Because we are working at home. We are supporting the families. As you said, three children but four. <laughs> that that actually, is, actually is even an understatement. You have another whole lot of family that you inherit even before you have your own child. There is a um, significant change in the media landscape. The digital media is is the future. I would encourage, this, this creates new job opportunities. It creates new spheres for all of us. And we all, nobody has an advantage on this one. It doesn't require any masculinity. Take advantage of the changes in the media landscape, changes in technology, and embrace the digital economy then you will be relevant. So you must remain relevant and don't sit there and say, on a millionaire because I'm a lady. You know, so there are opportunities for us beyond, you know, just the work that we are doing to be able to pay forward the lessons that we are learning. Some of you have numerous years of experience that needs to be shared, you know, in, in those spaces. And so uh, thinking beyond, uh, you know, the newsroom, thinking beyond that space and asking yourself, how do you transfer these skills across sectors, but also to the next generation through mentorship, through coaching, and through, uh, through teaching. And those opportunities are opening up. There are very, very many spaces for women to contribute in, in that. There's, there are lots of areas of professional development where uh, you know, some of those skill sets are, are the, the thing is, for all your dreams, you must <coughs> plant a seed. If you haven't planted that seed today, don't expect to come and reap. So you want to start a business, you want to have that side show, uh, that uh, side hustle, you want to have an investment. Wanting is good, but execution. So this is the time to activate your energized self, to give yourself the fruits, to plant, uh, to plant the right seeds, so that when that time later years come, you're just reaping and reaping. You know, it's like having a money tree in the house. Your work is to wake up in the morning and speak to the monetary and say, so how much are you giving me today? Because you're just reaping. But you will not have anything to reap if you didn't plant.